topic of discussion is serum electrolytes test what are the common electrolytes serum potassium chloride bicarbonate and calcium these are the example of electrolytes sodium potassium chloride bicarbonate and calcium what are electrolytes electrolytes are the ions which help in maintaining homeostasis of body so what is electrolytes it is a ion which help in maintaining homeostasis of body then what are the common electrolytes that are screened by various test the most common electrolytes sodium potassium chloride bicarbonate and calcium why does our body need to balance amount of electrolytes electrolytes are important in maintaining fluid balance of the body as well as the ph balance of the body then apart from that certain cells like nerves and muscles need the electrolytes to maintain the voltage across the membrane so that they can function in properly blood samples is required for this test usually morning samples should be taken uh, diet and exercise can affected the electrolytes balance next when does doctor ask for measuring serum electrolytes test if the patient has any condition can affect the fluid balance of the body like vomiting then doctor may ask for this test apart from this test kidney diseases and heart diseases also this test is asked for if the patient has symptoms like confusion or cramps then also this test can be asked for so what are the condition they uh, have fully relapse uh, vomiting then kidney and heart disease confusion and cramp the patient how means we want to take blood samples next what condition can causes decreases serum electrolytes level okay what are the condition will decrease serum electrolytes level there are number of diseases affected electrolytes level in blood for example kidney disease heart disease and diabetics can also affected serum level then can any drugs affected the electrolytes level in blood many drugs can affect electrolytes level for example sudden drugs like steroid oral contraceptive pills can increase the level of sodium and chloride on the other hand drugs like antidepressant and antidiuretic can decreases the level of sodium and chloride for bicarbonate drugs like barbiturate and loop diuretic can increase the level then drugs like tetracycline can decrease the level of bicarbonate barbiturate and loop diuretics increases bicarbonate level tetracycline decreases bicarbonate level then sudden medicines which are given lower pp of that patient can result in lowered potassium level in the patient so it will decreases potassium level now we will discuss normal range of electrolytes first one is sodium normal range 135 to 145 milli equivalent per liter that decreases condition name is called as hyponatremia 
then increases condition name is called as hypernatremia decreases condition it causing disease mm, symptoms like uh, kidney failure heart disease cirrhosis and uh, diuretic then hypernatremia condition like dehydration thirst restlessness and fatigue second one is potassium normal range 3.6 to 5.2 millimole per liter decreases condition name is called as hypokalemia increases condition name is called as hyperkalemia these are the symptoms and diseases suppose potassium level increases more than 6 means this one is the life threatening condition immediately admitted in hospital start to treatment then chloride level normal range 96 to 106 milli equivalent per liter decreases condition name is called as hypochloremia increases condition name is called as hyperchloremia these are the symptoms and diseases next one is bicarbonate range 20 to 29 milli equivalent per liter decreases condition name is called as metabolic acidosis increases condition name is called as metabolic alkalosis then uh, symptoms and diseases last one is calcium calcium range 8.5 to 10.2 milligram per deciliter decreases condition name is called as hypokalemia increases condition name is called as hyperkalemia so in this video we discussed uh, serum electrolytes level this one is the statement form notes form Thanks for watching.